welcome to day 27 of Transcend. A, uh, and just let me adjust this so we know what we're doing. Okay. Um, presume everyone can hear us okay. Just let us check. If there's anybody who can't, let us know. There we go. Yeah, let's turn this up a little bit. And there we go. So, whew, my name is... My name <laughs> is... <laughs> Um, my name is. My name. Yeah, Trevor. There you go. And this is Madiha. Hello. Uh, how are you doing? So, and welcome. We'll do the welcomes. A uh, few less than last night, but I'm sure they'll wander in. Um, so we got um, Karen. Uh, hi, hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Sending loving vibes to everyone. Keely's in. Keely. Awesome. Aww. Finally made hi, it. Hi, Keely. Try not to fall asleep. It's all right. Um, let's turn this up a little bit. Can you hear us okay? Uh, it's a little bit quiet in mine. Let's have a look. Um, Philomene, love to all. Awesome. Um, Tracy. Tracy, I <coughs> can't believe it's day 27. Thank you both for giving up your time. I won't know what to do with my evenings after day 30. The music has been absolutely amazing. And big thanks to everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much for Thanks, showing Tracy. up. Mike's made it. Hi, Mike. Mike's in the building. Is this loud enough? Yeah. Okay, it must be just me. Yeah. Ah. Sounds okay. No? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. Um, one sec. Well, if there's any complaints, I'm sure they'll tell us. Um, Manny. Manny. Oh, beautiful ones. Wow, day 27. Day 27. Yeah. Um, Jennifer's made it. Hi How are you Jennifer. doing? And uh, Karen, same here. 8 p.m. won't be the same. Uh, Claire, how are you doing? Good evening, Claire. Hello. Hi, EK. How are you feeling? Good evening, EK. And Farah's. Farah's in the house. Yes, Farah's in the house. I thought she said, hey, Angles. And it's like, <laughs> angels. It'd be L-E-S otherwise. Yeah, I know it would, yeah. No, it's, it'd be... Uh, angle is A-N-G-L-E. A-N-G, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm just putting Um... Ash is hey. in the building. Oh, Ash is in on time. Awesome. She's in the pyramid. <laughs> and uh, Marilyn as well. Hi, Marilyn. How are you doing? Okay. Good to see you, Marilyn. How is everybody feeling today? Turn this up a little bit. Da -da -da -da. That might be it. That's it. That that's better. A bit better yeah. yeah, that's me. We sound the same to them, but yeah. Yeah, how is everybody feeling? Refreshed, tired, invigorated, life changed. By the way, this is not vodka, it's just small glasses <laughs> of water. <sighs> Whew, last night was deceivingly. Um, she likes our sweaters, Marilyn. Nice. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Last night was very um, deceiving. I thought it was going to be quite strong energy, and you've you had a lot of stuff to process today, didn't you? You're like, I well, it? I don't know if you're processing really tired and very, very yeah, yeah, tired today. I just heavy felt very heavy today. Yeah, stuff clearing out. That's what it is. Sometimes it's stuff, but I also sometimes feel it can be integration. Yeah, it's combination of combination. Or who knows? We could be making it all up. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> if I was untied today, a little bit anxious, coming down from Eid celebrations. EMD celebrations. Eid. EDM. Eid. Uh, Eid celebrations Eid and too much socialising yesterday. Well, no sympathy. Sorry. <laughs> um, Philomene, mine did not work so clear and tired. Mine did oh, okay. well, yeah. Okay. And also Marilyn's feeling a bit exhausted. Okay. Um, Farah missed last night, but she's going to catch up later. And good morning to you, Heidi. I think last night, for me, felt deceivingly a lot more stronger than I anticipated, if yeah. that makes sense. But, like, afterwards, I began to really feel it, and today. Well, I when can't you get believe how much I've slept. I've yeah, slept just lot. slept all the time. I mean, it's... Um, when you think about the process of last night, it's going into specific records and, and changing them and recoding them and things like that. When you're doing it up here, and then it finally filters down into your physical body. So, yeah. Um, let's have a look. So, she's uh, Farah's our astrologist, by the way. Okay, uh, in house astrologist, Farah. Yes. 
and Mars square Saturn in the cosmos too this, this past few days. Giving headache energy. Okay, cool. Thank you for that. And um, Aggie. Hi, Aggie. Hey, Aggie. Ash, I'm exhausted. Painted 20 fence, fence posts. Uh, ready to put in an put in over the weekend. This evening meditation keep me going, knowing it's a great relaxing space awaiting me. Oh well, well today's uh, is going to be perfect. I and I, and I hope you don't take offence tonight then. Um, Karen's had a bad headache. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're feeling benefits from it. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I, I felt the heaviest, I think. I can't believe how much I slept. Yeah, I had one two days ago, but, yeah, it's just a word. Do you see the Schumann chart yesterday? It was, it was insane. Okay. Schumann resonance. Yeah, chart. the Schumann resonance, resonance, it's the it's resonance. The Schumann resonance is the electromagnetic field that exists around the planet. It's actually caused and created by uh, the lightning storms, electromagnetic lightning storms. And so, yeah, it's usually about 7.8, but it's been fluctuating. And, yeah, it's supposed to have a big effect on us. And hi, good evening or morning, Chitan. Rade, rade, greetings, everyone. And greetings ah. to you, Chitan, from India. I love it when you speak a different language. <laughs> um, Mike says, heart has been wide open this week, waking up early, shaking in the morning. Ah, he started the shaking. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Aggie can relate to that, can't she, yeah. as well? You'd be doing yoga positions that you didn't know you could do and just being guided into them. Next. Oh, just shaking for random reasons, but you get used just to it. Free. I think I think the shaking is frequency adjustment. The body's adjusting to the frequencies, I think, sometimes. I also think it's like a pressure cooker. It's allowing stress mm. to release as well. So, um, yeah, that's... I think it depends thing. where people are on the journey. Yeah. Usually in the beginning, it's a, it's release. It's a plus, though, isn't it? Of course. Yeah. Um, any announcements today? One more. Just Mike. Heart has been wide open this week, waking up early. Oh, yeah, we just read that one. I just got deja vu I'm then. So <laughs> I just got deja vu. It was really strong. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Sorry. And don't forget, Mike's left a comment. Heart has been <laughs> wide open this week. <laughs> and he's been shaking in the morning. Hi, Justina. Justina's just jumped in. Do you know what we should do one day? We should just like reenact something exactly and just keep doing it on loop. And people think that they're watching a loop. <laughs> oh, Mike's looked there. So, Justina, <laughs> hi, everyone. Glad to be here. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, you did. <laughs> It's not that we don't oh. listen to each other. Uh, as you can see, we're a little bit tired. But yeah, because we do other stuff as well, apart from this, we're kind of, <laughs> what's it, life, doing other stuff like day-to-day mm. -day stuff. Um, right, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. So anyway, a few people have been asking about a retreat. And so made some phone calls today. And um going to do one, I guess. We're going to do one. Da, 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 and it's going to be this one. Um, if you're watching this in the future, it doesn't matter because you can um, go to the Awaken Retreats and find it. But yeah, going to do it in Wales, and it's a really beautiful place, um, the location. Uh, you can see there's a nice little fire, and there's, it's very cool. Um, so we're going to do some intense work, and uh, some fun stuff, um, food, training, accommodation. It's all in there. And, um, it is beautiful, by the way. Only going to have a small group of people, so maximum probably be about... Maybe 12, 12 people, give or take. But um, yeah, it's going to be very um, intimate. So um, so th what that means is that we get a chance to work with people individually as well and mm -hmm. answer questions. And uh, some brand new meditations will be written for that. And we also want to connect to the land a little bit more as well because it's going to be in June. The sun is out. We'll do morning meditations. We'll do a lot of cool stuff, which we don't normally do. So um so yeah, it's it's quick activation to get people really going on the journey and to um, yeah, hopefully by the end of it, they're they're working with people's energies in mm. a positive way. And also detecting their own energy and being yeah. able to to self calibrate, clear, yeah. open, close their energy field. So yeah, if Check you fancy that, just um, head over to. Hello. 
Sorry. <laughs> if you fancy that, head over to awakenretreats.co.uk and download the prospectus. I got a feeling it will fill up pretty quick. So, uh, yeah. Um, well, Mike, I will definitely come save me a place. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, all the information's in the prospectus on the website, awakenretreats.co.uk. Right. And then we will be doing, hopefully, Sedona. So people are watching this. And then you never know, we might even do a Christmas one. Santa. You can be my little help, elf. elf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> So, tonight, what's on the menu? Uh, be great to meet you, Mike. Absolutely great. Yeah, it'd be lovely to connect with you, Mike. Um, Inform. We will be doing... Hi, Connie. How you doing? Cool. Hi, Connie. Oh, 21. I still think there's a couple more to drop in soon. We'll just wait. Ah, oh, there you go. Um, so, tonight, we'll get to see some of your... or feel some of your uh, healing abilities... I'm sure. It's Excuse all about intention, I think, as well. It's intention, but also ability. That also mm. helps. It's like somebody can say, I'm going to ski down that hill. I've never skied in my life, but my intention is going to be good. And then they don't quite get there. I think it's a good combination. Mm. Ability without intention is just as useless as the opposite. Um, so, yeah, tonight we're going to do this one, which is the healing pyramid. And uh, all basically what we do, we... We work in a virtual environment, so we all meet, and then we all, you know, eventually put someone in the center of the, the uh, pyramid, and we uh, create uh, energy to heal them and to help them in whatever way that's n required for them. So if you think of someone that you really want to help, or a group of people, or people that you want to help, then... It could even be yourself. Yeah, it could be yourself. yourself. could even be us, yeah. <laughs> We're beyond help. So anyway... But uh, yeah, just, you know, or even put the little world in there and do a little bit on that. There's no be specific. Um, so yeah, I think what would be, and maybe one, one of the healing times when we'll just pick someone random and everybody puts their energy towards that person and see what they come back with as an experiment. But it does work. It does work. We've, we've felt it, so. Ah, this space is getting low. Okay. Just hang with me there a moment while I do something technical, he says. Katie mentioned, I fell asleep yesterday halfway and I woke up when you were finished, but I replied to the meditation. Yes, thank you. We saw the comment. Thank you, Heidi. It was beautiful. Keep talking. This is dead space. <laughs> so hopefully, um, I think with it being early hours in the morning, Heidi, this healing um, pyramid hopefully might drift you off into sleep again, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see how it all goes. Okay. I do record these and my hard disk has just gone, hey, you've only got 100 gig left. I'm like, it's lying to me. It's saying it's going to run out. Oh, so the screen's back. Oh, we're all going. It's, it's going to be a good one tonight. At least you know we're live. Yeah. <laughs> it's all going good tonight. There you go. There we are. Nobody noticed. We didn't see I don't say anything. You're supposed to do that. <laughs> Look at my hand as I figure it out. Right then. Hmm. So, what have we got? Any questions before we go into the abyss? Everything's quiet. Yeah, there is a 25 second delay, so. Yeah, I'll just pour myself another drink then. Don't mind if I do. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So yeah, grab your headphones. Um, EK saying at this current point, I'm not looking to be a healer, but obviously want to work on myself. Can I still attend retreats. Yeah, it is. It is to heal yourself or heal others. And you know, some people come to this and they go, you know what? I'm going to do this healing. And they go through a big process and they're like, oh, I feel completely different and it changes their life. And others go, actually, the thing that I've revealed is that I am a healer and that I want to be a healer. And that's, you know, beneficial to them as well. So, you know, all healing is self-healing to, to initially. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, some people don't change the career. Otherwise, we'd be inundated with healers. 
<laughs> the beer beware. <laughs> um, yeah, I was inter- I was listening to um, Tom Campbell a couple of days ago, and he was saying about the fact that when people go through the dark night of the soul, which both of us have gone through, and that's the dark night is when I've had a few seasons, but we'll save that for another day. The the, the dark night is when everything kind of goes really wrong in your life. This is maybe like a one in a thousand come out of it and become healers. You know, uh, some don't make it and others just carry on with their life. So, you know, um, it's a calling in itself, but it's always a good thing to do. So, yeah. Um, Joe Williams says, do you mean I can project Jason Jason Momoa Momoa or or unicorns on my back wall if I have the technology? Yes. Yes. And we've... I can I can help you with that. Jason Momoa riding a unicorn. That's yeah. tomorrow night's meditation, funnily enough. Right, if you'd like to grab your headphones. We've lost a couple. They've wandered off. Sorry. Did you not wander back in again? Yeah. Grab your headphones, get yourself relaxed, and we'll uh, we'll go into this one. Remember, we're doing self-healing first, and then we're going to send some healing out to everyone else. So I hope you enjoy it. It's called the Healing Pyramid. As we begin this meditation, take three deep breaths. Allow yourself to consider experiencing deeper states of relaxation with a sense of curiosity. As you create this space inside for new things to emerge, your breath becomes calmer and deeper. Hearing the sound of my voice and the sound of the music, how much more relaxed can you become? This is a time for you to let go and surrender into a place that feels safe calm and familiar. Sense and feel any tension in your body and just let go. As your chest rises and falls, what thoughts are you thinking? What thoughts are really important in this moment?
Relax your jaw. Relax those muscles around your eyes. And relax the muscles in your neck and shoulders. As you sink deeper into a place where you can connect to the higher aspects of yourself. Time slows down. Thoughts slow down. And your breathing becomes a natural ebb and flow. Around you now are energies, subtle vibrations moving over and through you. As you move into this altered state, you may begin to feel them, to sense them, to connect with them. As I count from five down to one, your body becomes more relaxed with every number. Sensations of heaviness or lightness may spread into your arms and legs. And your brain begins to send signals to your body and your nervous system as it responds by releasing all those calming chemicals. Let your body continue to relax as your mind can go somewhere else.
Feel the vibrations. Become one with the sensations. And as you do, I would like you to imagine you are laying inside a huge crystal pyramid. This pyramid is floating in space. And with you inside this pyramid, there are other people, all meditating and healing. This is a crystal healing pyramid. This is where beings come to heal, where guides come to direct high frequencies of energy into all those that need it. These structures are built to harness your thoughts and your intention. Here only positive energy fills the space. Lower frequencies cannot exist in this vibrational field. As you lay there in this space, you are aware that the sides of the crystal pyramid are all glimmering with thousands of fragments, all designed to calibrate energy. As you breathe in unison with the group in this space, you send light up into the top of the pyramid, and this light moves all around, swirling and sparkling in this multidimensional pyramid floating in the cosmos. You notice that in the very center, high up in the top of the ceiling, there are angels moving and floating, there to stabilize and guide the healing energies. All those that are brought here, come here to be healed and are guided either to return back to their physical bodies in the earth plane or move forward up into the light as they progress on their evolutionary path.
you are here as part of the team to bring your unique energy and love into this space with the assistance of your guides. You are more powerful than you realize. You are high vibrational light existing on multi-dimensions. Every thought has a vibrational life of its own, naturally gravitating to its own frequency. In this healing pyramid, your thoughts are focused, guided like the energy of a laser. Open your chakras now. opening them from your root to your sacral chakra your solar plexus your heart your thymus open your throat your third eye all the way up to your crown chakra and the chakra energy center at the back of your head which is situated at the top of your neck As you exist in this space, allow the cosmic energy to flow through you. You are that energy. And at a deep level, you already know this. Just breathe in the light. to see orbs of color moving around as if they have an intelligence of their own.
feel this energy that's flowing through you. Move up into the top of the pyramid and then wash down over you and through you. Healing, realigning, recalibrating. In the center of this huge crystal pyramid, there is a smaller pyramid. This only has space for one person, and that person is already in the center. This is where the positive energies are really intensified. And this is where the group can send waves of powerful white light, gold light and platinum light into the energy bodies of whomever is in this central point. Before you do this, I would like you to just lay in this place and absorb as much of this energy as you can. Draw it in through your skin, through your chakras, soaking it up and storing it in your body, ready to send back into the center of the pyramid. Breathe in the light. Every member of this group was contracted to be here in this moment. We are all connected. You bring your individual energy signature into this space and time. Like musical notes, harmonizing on levels you are unaware of. And all with divine guidance. Realigning, rebalancing, recalibrating. Now just be in this space and allow your own guides to recalibrate you. 
to optimize your energy field, enabling you to absorb and store more of this powerful light. As we bring codes into this space, codes to open, codes to clear, and codes to enable you to align, raising your vibration. You are moving forward faster now, letting go of anything that no longer serves you. This is the time for ascension, to move higher, to recognize that you are, at your very core, love. Letting go of anger, letting go of guilt, letting go of fear, the fear that you've held on to for so long.
in this pyramid with this group of light beings, you start to vibrate at a higher and higher level. As light unites, you move into resonance with each other. Now center this powerful energy within the center of your chest. You are focused, balanced and aligned. your breath also helps to regulate your frequency. Inside this large crystal pyramid there is a sense of calmness and anticipation. Soon you will be asked to release all this positive energy you have absorbed and guide it into the person in the center of the pyramid itself.
you now become aware that everyone begins to form a circle within this pyramid and you are part of this circle all joining hands joining energies the guides help to show you what you need to do as you form this large circle of light and now in the center of the room you see a smaller pyramid Place the person inside the pyramid that needs the healing. And now, see and sense that pyramid glowing brighter and brighter. And as all of you in this healing group now surround that person inside that space, you are all connected. As you become aware that you are part of all that is, and that you matter, in this process of healing. Now, open your heart chakra, see, sense or feel this light coming from the center of your chest and send the light into the center of the room. Feel the frequency of love flowing through you and from you. Healing at a deep soul level. And as the healing completes, we give thanks to you and all the beings that have helped in the process. And gradually, one by one, the participants gently fade away. As I count from five down to one, I ask that all parts of you come back into this reality, fully energized, fully healed, and fully aligned. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, as usual, when you come back, just say hi in the uh, chat. Thank you, Justina. Hmm. Let's wait for a few more to come back. I think you might have gone a little bit deep on that one. Awesome. Don't forget tomorrow night we may do the healing tree or we might do the Jason Momoa on shorts on a unicorn meditation. Um, so uh, just to give you a little preview there. 
Um, that's kind of what the artwork looks like. Next to Medea, who's smiling. Thank you. And Kerry's off to do a night shift. Wow. Mike, expansive. And Joe loves the Care Bear moments in life. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Aggie. Awesome. Thank you. Well, um, tomorrow is day 28. Yes. Day 28 tomorrow. So uh, you're welcome, Hinks. <laughs> um, that's cool. Yeah, it's a nice one to do that on a retreat, that one, because, you know, um, you can really feel it. Um, as a group, you can you can really feel the, the difference. Oh, Philomene says, totally balanced, so soft and healing. And Kay Karen says, uh, Karen, I went to a beautiful place, much needed, no sense of time, magical. <laughs> I'm definitely doing that one again. EK said, beautiful meditation, lots of energy. Um, my YouTube decided to stop at one point. I had to turn it back again. Mm. Interesting. Um, and Joe's like happy. <laughs> Karen's happy as well. So, yeah. Joe, I might have to just do your special Jason Momo on a unicorn because I don't think everybody's going to relate to that. <laughs> uh yeah for your birthday okay um he's thank you both it was really healing it put me to sleep okay <laughs> well thank you again for showing up and doing the work and um whoever i'm sure you put in the center of the pyramid i hope they've felt the healing benefits as well and um yeah we'll be Coming back here tomorrow um, at 8 o'clock, 7.55. And got really nice meditation as well tomorrow. So um, Connie zonked, I don't know that word for ages. Could feel the heart energy intensely. Brilliant. Uh, Farah said, really felt in my solar and heart. And Chetan said he had a lovely journey. Many thanks. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, and we Thanks, shall guys. see you tomorrow. Rest, drink water, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Netflix beckons, I'm sure. You're welcome, Jennifer. You're welcome, Jennifer. So, um, yeah, there you go. Usual things that come up. That's the um, um, Healing Vibrations donation, and... Um, that's yeah and that's if people want to contact us or go to awakenretreats.co.uk to see about the retreat and then uh we will see you tomorrow so thank you very much